the indian chemical industry is unleashing the next wave of growth china crackdown on chemical plants to tackle rising pollution are likely to benefit india's chemical manufacturers i am dr krish welcome to our channel krishram investor here you get timely quality and unbiased opinion on the stocks and investment opportunities in this video we will see a brief overview of chemical sector major companies and statistics recent ipos and ipo financing options and then i will introduce you to 10 potential multi bagger stocks which are little unknown and we will see what is the selection criteria and how to analyze to pick such stocks and then we will see how to allocate funds for investment india's chemical industry ranks at the 6th position in the world and 4th position in asia in terms of size the chemical industry including fertilizers and pharmaceuticals in india stands at usd 240 billion as of april 2021 which is expected to reach usd 364 billion by 2024-25 at an annual growth rate of 14.9% a consistent value creator the chemical industry remains an attractive hub of opportunities even in an environment of global uncertainties Worldwide trends affecting the global chemical industry could lead to near-term opportunities for chemical companies in India. How chemical players prioritize and tap this value-creating potential could shape the future of the industry in India as well as the country's trade performance. Top chemical companies such as UPL, Coromandel, Pi Industries, Rallis, BASF, Navin Fluorine, SRF, Arthi, Vinati, Deepak, Alkyl, Balaji Mines, Atul, Camlin and Sudarshan have delivered multi-bagger returns over a decade. These companies are well known to the retail investors. There are many subcategories within the sector. Some are into inorganic, agro, specialty, dyes and pigments, etc. Let's check the popular sub segments and their growth drivers, user industry and their potential market size in billion dollars. Popular sub segments are dyes, pigments and coating, polymer additives, home care surfactants, textile chemicals, agrochemicals, water chemicals, cosmetic chemicals, construction chemicals, flowers, fragrances and nutraceuticals. It can be depicted from this figure that high growth potential is projected for agrochemicals followed by dyes, pigments, coating, home care surfactants and textile chemicals. Please pause and examine the figures. When we move to the specialty chemicals, India has multifold opportunity in polymer additives, electronic chemicals, rubber chemicals, etc. as marked. So far the popular companies in these segments are Atul, Deepak, Vinati, Alkyl Amines, Navin Fluorine, Galaxy, Fine Organics and NOCAL. There are new companies listed via IPO route as well. As most of you know, IPO is an initial public offering where a privately held company shares are made available for sale to the public for the first time. It is also a medium for companies to raise money for their business operations or business expansion. Some recently listed companies in this sector are shown here for your ready reference. Kemplast, Tatva Chintan, Clean Science, Lakshmi Organics, etc. Currently these companies are trading above the issue price and that is the demand for the IPOs in the ongoing bull run. If you would have been allotted shares in the listing of Lakshmi Organics, you would have made 18% on day of listing because it was oversubscribed. Lot of retail customers were not allotted. In case of oversubscription of IPO, a retail customer is allotted shares on a lottery basis. However, in HNI category, 15% of the issue size is parked aside and shares are allotted accordingly. For a retail investor to avail the benefit of HNI category, he has to apply with a minimum value of 2 lakhs. It ensures guaranteed allotment. Sometimes it so happens that you may be short on funds. In this case, you can avail IPO financing. Let us see the 10 little unknown stocks which have the potential to grow big in the future. Please do like and share the video. If you are new to my channel and looking for fresh content on stock markets, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Selection criteria which I choose to pick these stocks are current market price less than 400 rupees, positive operating cash flow is greater than 5.2 times of the equity capital, lower ratio of long term debt in the current period compared to the previous period, higher current ratio this year compared to the previous year, Chrisdom EVA metrics, a higher asset turnover ratio compared to the previous year. Let us take up stock number 1. This company has a market cap of Rs. 295 crores and the current share price at Rs. 396. Stock PE at 8 which is far less than the industry PE of 27. It has a book value of Rs. 229. The company is almost debt free, promoter shareholding at 63.8%. It is a dividend paying company at a dividend yield of 0.76%. The company name is Dei Ichi Karkaria Limited. I recommend this company because it is one of the pioneering specialty chemical companies in India. 
The company offers colorants such as dispersing, emulsifying, penetrating and surface treatment agents. Underperformed the market in the last one year but expected to perform well from here. Let's move to stock number 2. This company has a market cap of rupees 570 crores and the current share price at rupees 332. Stock PE at 8.7 which is far less than the industry PE of 27. It has a book value of rupees 226. Promoter shareholding at 62%. It is a dividend paying company at a dividend yield of 0.9%. The company name is Sri Rail Seema High Strength Hypo Limited. It is an India based manufacturer of inorganic chemicals. The company is engaged in manufacturing and sale of industrial chemicals. Company has delivered good profit growth of 25.2% CAGR over last 5 years. Let's get into stock number 3. This company has a market cap of rupees 709 crores and the current share price at rupees 273. Stock PE at 18 which is far less than the industry PE of 27. It has a book value of rupees 127. Promoter shareholding at 64%. It is a dividend paying company at a dividend yield of 1.47%. The company name is Plasti Blends India Limited. It is India's largest manufacturer and exporter of master batches and additive compounds for the plastic processing industry. Plasti Blends is the best plastics and polymers brand of India, award for excellence in contribution to agriculture. Stock is technically in the bullish range. Let's move on to stock number 4. This company has a market cap of Rs 759 crores and the current share price at Rs 253. Stock PE at 12.1 which is far less than the industry PE of 27. It has a book value of Rs 127. Promoter shareholding at 66.4%. It is a dividend paying company at a dividend yield of 0.4%. The company's name is Jayanth Agro Organics Limited. Jayanth Agro Organics Limited is an emerging global oleochemical company with leadership in the castor based specialty chemicals industry. With a growth in net sales of 32.68%, the company declared very positive results in June 2021. I recommend this because with ROC of 15.8, it has a fair valuation with a 1.7 enterprise value to capital employed. Let's move to stock number 5. This company has a market cap of Rs 214 crores and the current share price at Rs 235. Stock PE at 11.8, which is far less than the industry PE of 27. It has a book value at Rs 180. Promoter shareholding at 74.5%. It is a dividend paying company at a dividend yield of 1.28%. The company name is Nitta Galatin India. Nitta Galatin India is in the business of manufacturing and sale of osine, gelatin and collagen peptides. The company has declared positive results for the last four consecutive quarters. With ROCE of 11.8, it has a fair valuation with a 1.2 enterprise value to capital employed. Let's move on to stock number 6. This company has a market cap of 204 crores and the current share price at rupees 230. Stock PE at 16.9 which is far less than the industry PE of 27. It has a book value at Rs 221. Promoter shareholding at 55%. It is a dividend paying company at a dividend yield of 1.31%. The company name is JOCIL Limited. JOCIL is engaged in the manufacture of steric acid, fatty acids, soap noodles, toilet soap, glycerin and industrial oxygen. Raising investors participation is seen in this counter. Let's move on to stock number 7. This company has a market cap of Rs 570 crores and the current share price at Rs 332. Stock PE at 8.7 which is far less than the industry PE of 27. It has a book value at Rs 226. Promoters shareholding at 65.9%. It is a dividend paying company at a dividend yield of 0.99%. The company name is Chembond Chemicals Limited. Chembond Chemicals Limited is engaged in manufacturing a diverse range of specialty chemicals like water treatment, polymers, construction chemicals, high performance coating, animal nutrition and industrial biotech products. It has been in business for 45 plus years. It is a debt free company. The company has declared positive results for the last four consecutive quarters. Let's move on to stock number 8. This company has a market cap of Rs 258 crores and the current share price at Rs 180. Stock PE at 7 which is far less than the industry PE of 27. It has a book value at Rs 190. Promoter shareholding at 73.7%. It is a dividend paying company at a dividend yield of 0.68%. The company name is Chemfab Alkalis Limited. Chemfab is engaged in the business of manufacturing of inorganic chemicals and trading of PVC over pipes. The company has declared positive results in June 2021 after 5 consecutive negative quarters. Let's move on to stock number 9. 
This company has a market cap of rupees 17.8 crores and the current share price at rupees 36.2. Stock PE at 11, which is far less than the industry PE of 27. It has a book value at rupees 36.8. Promoter shareholding at 41.6%. The company name is Haryana Leather Chemicals Limited. Haryana Leather Chemicals is a leading product technology from technical alliances in Italy and Spain, resulting in an extensive range of chemicals, coatings and dispersions. Almost debt-free company at less than rupees 50. Now let's focus on stock number 10. This company has a market cap of 44.5 crores and the current share price at rupees 25.8. Stock PE at 23, which is less than the industry PE of 27. It has a book value at rupees 23. Promoter shareholding at 73.5%. The company name is Sanganita Chemicals Limited. Sanganita Chemicals Limited is a leading manufacturer and exporter of cuprous chloride, cupric chloride and has established itself as a dependable supplier of synthetic resins in the Indian and international markets. Stock has bottomed out well. In my opinion, one can enter these stocks as per your risk reward ratios. Keep a stop loss of at least 25% for the long term. For beginners, one may plan to invest 5000 rupees in each stock and build their portfolio. I will post more updates on these scripts in the near future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you again in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself and your investments. Happy Wealth Creation.